Thank you for choosing Synergy SE Series 3 Phases On-Grid PV Inverter. It's a new generation of PV inverters that incorporate the values of high efficiency, reliability and intelligence. In this video, we will have a brief introduction of Synergy Inverter installation, commissioning and common troubleshooting, tools we need before the installation. Unpack with guarded blade utility knife. Take out the inverter and its accessories. Follow the location requirements to install the inverter in proper places with shelter to avoid the direct exposure to sun, rain, and snow and extend the product service life. Take out the rear panel. Three pieces of M12 screw bolt, three pieces of M12 screw nuts, and three pieces of washer from the packing case. Check and see whether the rear panel can be matched with the support. If not, locate the appropriate drilling holes using the rear panel and the support and mark it with a marker pen. Tighten the rear panel on the support using adjustable wrench. Two men hang the inverter on the support. And don't forget to tighten the two hexagon screws at the bottom of the inverter. Ensure the DC switch is switched to off. Electrical connections, security tips. Connecting ground cables. Remove an appropriate length of the insulation layer from the yellow-green earth wire using wire stripper. Crimp the earth wire with OT terminals using crimping plier. Remove the cross screws on the inverter by cross screwdriver. Route the screws into the OT terminal and tighten it firmly. Connecting AC output cables. Remove an appropriate length of the jacket and insulation layer from the AC output cable. Route the cable through waterproof connector. Put the exposed core wires through the crimp area of the OT terminal and crimp them using crimping plier. Wrap the wire crimp area with heat shrink tubing. Loosen the screws locking the terminal manually or using cross screwdriver and pull out the AC terminal plate. Remove the screws on the AC terminal plate using cross screwdriver. Tighten AC output cables including earth wires, connecting DC input power cables. Remove an appropriate length of the insulation layer from DC input power cables using a wire stripper. Crimp the cables with copper terminals using a crimping tool. Insert the crimped male and female power cables into the corresponding male and female amphenol connectors respectively. Measure the voltage using a multimeter and ensure that it is within the specified range. Connect the corresponding male and female DC terminals. Connecting communications cables. Install RS-485. Remove an appropriate length of the insulation layer from communications cables using a wire stripper. Route the communications cables through the waterproof connectors of 485 in and 485 out, respectively. Pay attention to the mark of 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B on RS-45 communications board. Tighten the cable to male connector of RS-485 using straight screwdriver. Turn the red switch beside it to on from the dial switch of the inverters on the end of the chain. Keep all cables organized and tighten the locking cap on the waterproof connector. Install Wi-Fi, GPRS. Remove the screw on COM cover using cross screwdriver and take off the board. Route Wi-Fi GPRS module in COM wire socket and tighten the locking screw. Powering on. Turn on PV switch. The inverter is powered on and the light on the LED display screen turns on green. 
Please contact us if you have any questions about Synergy PV inverters.